Hi there, welcome to Elm Colors. I'm Erica. On today's video, I am going to be starting the next uh, animal in our alphabet animal series. Uh, today's letter is D, and D is for deer. Uh, I have a few pages to share with you. Probably, again, way too many that I found. But I wanted to show you a nice variety of different styles and things like that. Um, and where kind of you can all find, you know, deer pages or deer in your books. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to start again with the cartoony, more cartoony style. Um, and I have a million cute animals here by Lulu Mayo. And I only found one tiny little deer. And I think it's a deer. Um, and it's this one right here. I'm pretty sure that's a deer. Um, but I did not find very many deer in any of her, I couldn't find any other ones in this book or, um, what was the other one? A million kawaii cuties. I didn't see anything. So yeah, I was kind of surprised. I thought there would be more. I don't know why. I just, I just did. Uh, but there, there is a deer. It's really cute. I wish she would draw more of those. Uh, in Camellia Angel Kova's 50 Woodland Miniatures, I found this adorable deer. I mean, come on, it's so cute. Uh, and I know in her Christmas book, she has um, a couple of deer pictures too. I think that's the only deer in this book. I know there's a moose in here. Um, this, ugh, this Woodland Creatures one is so adorable. I just love it to death. Uh, so yeah, so there is that one from the Angel Cova. In Wondrous Wildlife by Marjorie Sarna, she has this beautiful deer. Which I thought was really cool and you can see in the back that is one of the um, example pages so this one might be one that I will do we just because I have I already have a an idea for colors maybe um, we'll see I really like it though I think it's a very cool page and I need to color another one in this book so that's a maybe in Starry Night by uh, Wee Shan Ong and I think that there, she also has some, uh, she's a Coloring Heaven edition out as well. Um, I found this deer. This book has some really cool animal pictures, just like randomly in here. There's just cool animals. Um, the tiger one's really neat, which is that one. But yeah, I found that deer. I thought that was neat. I like that page too. Um, and then Maria Trolle has several deer. So in uh, month. Mandolin, I think this is Moon Valley. Um, she has this really cute, very cartoony deer. Um, and I love that there's like these, you could almost make it like a, um, like a galaxy deer. <laughs> Cause he's got a little moon on his forehead and he's got like the, all the stars all over him. I just think that would be really neat to color. Um, I love this page. I think it's so cute. And then she does have deer kind of um, spread throughout the book. I'm going to have to see if I can find another one just by flipping. Um, most of the other deer pages that she has are some, oh, there's one. That one's really cool. Um, yeah, this book has some really neat animals in it as well. Um, I know that there's a couple where it's like farther out. So you get almost the whole body of the deer. Yeah, like this one. Well, you don't see their legs, but they're laying down in the little thicket, right? That's cute. Uh, and then there's a dear girl, so that might work too. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then there's another one. Uh, yeah, so I really love this book. I haven't colored. I only have the the front title page and then a little bit colored on this page. And I was trying to just go with the colors that are on the cover, but I can't do it. It'll drive me crazy. I just, I know it will. So um, there'll be other colors used in this book. <laughs> But that is uh, Mandalin. And then I also have in Botanicum, there's a couple of deer that I thought were cute. But um, again, there's like a smaller one. So here's one with like a whole deer family, which this one was one that I uh, was also thinking about coloring just because I really like, I don't know, I just like the layout of that. Uh, and then I did color one in this book and it's this one. Uh, and I really do like the way that that turned out. Um, I do have a color along video on the channel. If you're interested in that, it is my January color along, um, January, December, I think it's January. Yeah. Um, but yeah, really like that. Really like the way that that one turned out. I use Crayola supplies for that one. 
Um, there might be a couple more where there's like just a few little deer, but yeah, for sure. Those two. And this one is a possibility. That one's a good possibility too. Uh, in Hannah Carlson, you have in Spirit Animals, two of my favorite deer that I think she has deer in other ones too, but this one is just, it's stunning. I have seen so many beautiful ways to color this and therefore I'm intimidated to color it, but it's, um, it's just gorgeous. It's such a beautiful, beautiful spread. Um, and those deer are beautiful. So there's that one. In Enchanted Forest, she has several deer kind of spread throughout the book um, on this beautiful double page. She's got one hidden down here. Um, then you get, you get this one, which it's right, yes, it's right on the um, spine, but yeah. And then I think the next, the next page is in this beautiful one. And she also has one similar to that in her Christmas book. Um, so yeah, so there's some nice deer from Johanna. In Circle of Life, I found a couple of deer. Um, we have this one, which is just beautiful. It's such a beautiful page. And then, of course, if you look carefully in some of these, you can see, like, here's a little deer poking out. Um, in some of the woodland scenes, you can find deer here and there. So, yeah. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Then in Mythographic, um, there are lots of deer. Um, in Odyssey, you get lots of smaller deer. So there's, like, this one here. Um... On this big image, you've got deer like grazing and stuff here. And then on this one, which is this beautiful deer here with this big giant rock monster guy. I don't know what it is, but it's really cool. I love it. I love this page. It's so neat. Um, yeah, I would love to color that. That's, cool. That's a cool one. Uh, and then in Magical Earth, there's a little bit closer up deers. So there's this one, which I love this page. <laughs> I just love it. Uh, and then I know that there was another one, and of course I didn't mark Oh, I did mark it. I did mark it. There's this one, which is really cool too. And there's several little deer in here. Um, but yeah, so those are all the ones that I found that I thought were super cool. Um, I'm going to pick out a few. Maybe, maybe one. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. I'm going to try to start going back to just doing one at a time, but I don't know how that's going to go. So I am going to go off, pick out my page, and I will be right back with you guys. Okay, so the first deer I want to color is in Faye Dorable's Minis 2. This is a cute pocket size coloring book by Selena Fennec. Uh, I picked out this page because it's got this really cute little deer. I do have an alcohol marker base on all of the other... Um, bits and pieces. I'm going to use some alcohol markers on the deer as well. So this is just going to be a really simple deer. If I can get my marker. <laughs> Goodness. Uh, so yeah, so anywhere where the lighter areas are be, will be, I'm going to use this Ohuhu marker. This is Y145. This is just a quick base because I will probably end up doing a little bit of... Um, Pencil work on here too. That's just, just me. Okay, there's that. Then I'm gonna grab my darker one. Now this is just a darker brown. This is a Windsor and Newton um, saddle brown or uh, 345 is the number in case you have these markers as well. But I'm just gonna go through and put a layer of color on uh, the rest of the deer here. And then when we come back, I'll kind of show you how I will use my pencils to get some shading done on this. All right, have a couple of pencils here. I'm gonna use my Sioux Color pencils and we're gonna try to do a little bit of shading here. So I have number 43 right here and I don't think that's gonna be quite dark enough to get into like the darker my shadow, so I also grabbed 138, and that'll be a good shadow color here. All right, and so this is going to be just a very subtle 
shading. I'm not going to do a ton of fur on this one. Uh, deer have really, really short fur. Um, so it's more like, you know, it's, I mean, you've heard the term deer hide. So it's, it's more like that than it is a bunch of fur. There are some areas where, you know, they are a little fluffier, but overall it is, um, a much more, um, it's not as defined, the fur. Um, so to get that look, I'm really just doing like shading around the edges of the deer. So not, again, this is that same technique where I go almost to the edge of the line, but not quite. So there's a little bit of a, an edge along the outside. And what this does is it creates the look of, um, like makes it look more 3D. So it looks like the image is rounded. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of darker color right in here. Okay, um, so yeah, so I'm just gonna go through and do that to the entire deer. I will speed this part up so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, and I'm just adding um, this darker color in every once in a while. It's not gonna be continuous, but just every once in a while. I'm gonna go around the eye a little bit here too. Okay, all right, so yeah, I'm just gonna do the rest of the deer body and then we'll come back and work on the, um, the chest here. So I will talk to you again here in a second. The next thing I want to do is I want to add in just a tiny bit of pink to the ear along with a little bit uh, lighter brown. I don't really have don't really have the best brown, so I think based on the color, we're gonna try this one. See if that works. Just very lightly. Yeah, that works. And then I'm gonna add in some pink and I'm gonna do like a peachy pink, I think. So <laughs> that was a lot of a lot of <laughs> rhyming there. Um, so I'm just gonna add in a little bit to the ear there and then we'll kind of add that back in and I'm gonna blend it with the white just so that it um, is a little bit lighter. And then we'll go back over just a little bit with those same colors. Okay, all right. I'm gonna add in a little bit of pink on the cheek. I know you're probably not gonna be able to see it at all, but I like to do that. Okay, um, let's grab the black, just because I need the nose done. And we're gonna do, I'm gonna do the, the hooves as well. Let's do, I just grabbed a gray here. So I'm just gonna do a layer of gray. We're gonna do a little bit of layering. So I'm gonna come in with the black now and try to leave a little bit of a highlight where I think there might be just a, a bit of highlight there. That's the nice thing about working with the pencils is you can start with that lighter color and then just leave that highlight in. Okay, all right. Hooves and nose are done. Let's work on 
the chest here. So that second color that I pulled, which is light ochre, I'm gonna use that and draw in just a few hair um, lines. So this is, like I said, number 78, and I'm just, just tiny little, tiny little lines. Um, I'm gonna concentrate them a little heavier down at the bottom of the chest here. And then we'll just do a few here and there on the the rest of the body. I will add in a little bit of shading underneath the flowers. Um, we'll do a little bit here and then a little bit on the tail, but I'm gonna leave this bottom part of the tail white. Okay, and then I am gonna have to come back in with my pencil and color around some of these spots. My markers were too big, so we're just gonna, I'm just gonna color in some of the spots here. Again, using my white to blend things out because I do want these to be lighter. And then I'm gonna use, I have a um, beige Posca that I'm gonna color in these other little areas, these other little spots. I'll just fill in the whole the whole lot of them um yeah and then I can use my white as well to draw in some white uh, fur too let's do one more swipe through okay I think that's probably about it. Let me color in his eye. And I believe, I don't care, I've got this pink for the tongue. That'll work. And then for the eye, I'm gonna do it um, black and gray as well, like the feet. So we're gonna start with the gray. And then I'm going to Start with darker around the outsides and then lighten up my pressure as I move in. So I have just like a nice um, variation of color here for the, the deer. All right, we're gonna do a little bit more in the corners. I'm gonna add in a highlight back in because I kind of that up a little bit uh, and yeah there's my deer <laughs> it's not really not really hard to do um, especially when it's just like you know the quick the quick kind of um, shading and coloring and stuff I'm gonna add in just a little bit more because I feel like these whites are too white so I'm gonna go right over the top of the white with that original color that I added in and then use this dark brown to add just a little bit more shading underneath the flowers. A little bit right here too. Okay. Yeah, I think that's I think that's a cute deer. Let me let me uh, get these flowers done real quick, and then we'll I'll show you the deer a little closer up so you can see. Okay, so here is the deer. I'm gonna hold him up so you can see. Pretty simple shading, um, just a little bit of light fur texture on the chest. Uh, and I think it looks pretty cute. I think that deer it turned out really cute. And hopefully I'll be able to finish this page before I um, finish the video so you guys can see kind of what um, the whole page together looks like. But I think this is gonna be a, a cute little page. All right, so on to the next page. Okay, the next page is from Botanicum. Uh, I chose this cute little deer page here. So, um, I do have the colors of the flowers on my phone somewhere, but I don't really, <laughs> I don't exactly remember where I've got them. So we're gonna wait, I'm gonna have to wait to do those flowers until I'm off camera. But I thought I could do some of the trees, the grass, and the little deer. And just as a reminder, oh wait, are those the flowers? They are, there we go, they're right there. I thought I just had them on my phone. Um, this is kind of what we're gonna do. 
So I'm going to try to get the, um, the nice lighter, like super light on the deer and then do a little bit of shading around the face. Um, I'm going to start out using my Neo Colors because I am all about trying to make things um, easier on myself these days. Um, yeah, okay, so I have my water brush, my paper towel. Uh, we're going to start, I think for this page, I'm going to keep everything kind of contained in this little scene. I'm not going to go outside of this, really. So I think for the hills, we're going to do a nice light green to start. Yeah. Well, this is going to be like a spring page for me. Uh, so it's like mom and dad and baby out for their first um, trip after the baby's been born. I don't know if that makes any sense or if I'm completely off. I know that I don't think the male deer, well, according to Bambi, the male deer aren't really involved in the babies. <laughs> That's probably true, but okay. And then we're going to get a little bit of green down here. The nice thing about the Neo colors is it does not have to be perfect when you first put it down on the page because it's going to get all blended and mixed together anyway. So it can look crazy. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to add a little bit of a darker green to some of the places down at the bottom here. And then I know for the flowers and stuff, I will end up coming through and doing um, a lot of pencil work around the leaves and things. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started on this. I'll be right back with you guys. All right. And then the trees back here. I'm trying to decide if I want to do... Um, like some kind of magical color, so like a purpley color maybe, or if I want to stick with the greens, because it's going to be a lot of green if I do that, because then I'll have a bunch of color down here, and then a big blob of green, but um, that might be all right. Okay, no, I'm going to do purple. We're going to do purple. Okay, I've got you zoomed in a little closer here, and I'm going to be using my um, nail colors again, so I have uh, russet and I also have this brown color I don't remember exactly which brown it is but I'm going to um, do a little bit of work on here so first I'm going to refer to this lovely little guy here so I'm going to try to do his coloring similarly now this is a much it's a very small area so if I don't get it quite right that's fine <laughs> it's not like Anybody is going to come and um, give me crap because I don't know how to color. That's not how this happens. Okay. And then he's going to have some here. His ears will be darker, I know, but for now he's just going to have this color kind of all over. We're going to do some along his back. So yeah, so I'm just trying to get a nice um, layer of color down. All right, I am going to also come in with, hold on a sec. I am also going to come in with this ochre color. I'm going to use that a little bit um, around the areas where I want it to be a little bit lighter of a color. Um, not so much on his face. This brown, this darker brown that I'm going to use in the areas that need a little bit of shadow. That I know for sure need some shadow. I'll do a little bit here, a little bit here. Okay. All right, so you can see how messy that looks right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to... Kind of get a nice watercolor look.
with these neo colors. I will have to turn my book quite a bit for this, I think, just so I can push my neo colors in the right direction. Okay, there's that. I'm gonna go this way a little bit. We're gonna start blending things together. Like that's a good a good color mix right there. Okay, I'm gonna turn this again here in a minute. I'm gonna do these back legs really quick. And you'll notice I am going from lighter to darker. So my lighter colors into my darker colors. Oh, except for here. So I'm gonna start here and then we're gonna move into these darker colors. And again, anytime I take my um brush off the page, it's because I am cleaning it off. Okay. All right. Well, I think, I think that looks pretty good. He looks kind of, kind of watercolor. I'm just cleaning up a little bit of the edges that I got out of out of place. All right, so there's the first little guy. Let me do these other two next. All right, so let's move on to these other deer. We're gonna do, just trying to figure out exactly how I wanna do this. I think I'm gonna make her a little darker. So I'm gonna start with this just brown color. And again, do the same kind of thing where I color in all different areas. I'm leaving a little bit of open area here to create different tones, highlights, shadow, that kind of stuff. I am going to use a little bit of this peach color just to mix in. I'm trying to, I'm going to try that out on this deer because I think I want to use a, a little bit more peach on the, um, the fawn. So now I'm just adding in the darkest colors where I know I want that. So this is a brown as well. It's really dark, it's raw umber. So it's just a, a darker shade. All right, so again, I'm gonna start. Uh, let's go ahead and start with this dark. This one back here. Do this foot as well, this leg. I can't, I will come in here um, in these really tiny areas, probably with some um, pencils here in a little bit too, so that, oh yeah, I like the peach mixed in there. That looks nice. Uh, yeah, sorry, I <laughs> stopped in mid-sentence. I'll come back with some pencils in these little tiny areas because it's gonna be too hard for me to try to do it with the Neo Colors. I don't think I'm gonna need a ton more like shading or anything because I got a pretty decent amount with the nail colors this way. They kind of look a little bit more, um, looks more like a watercolor effect this way instead of, there we go. Okay, I like that. Cute. All right, so now we're going to do a bit more of the peach. Um, what about the chest there? Um, I'm going to use a little bit of this ochre color on the chest of the deer, this the buck. Um, let's not use that one. We're going to use just the light brown, just a really light amount, barely there. And I still had <laughs> ochre on my brush. Gosh darn it. That's not what I meant to do, but that's okay. All right. And then on the, on the fawn, we're going to use mostly peach, I think, and then just kind of do a little bit of the, um, brown. Mm, 
I'm going to use the brown first, and if that doesn't give me exactly the right kind of mix, then I will come back in with that, um, what is this color? Gosh darn it, I can't remember color names, uh, the russet. Um, but I think this might work. And then I will come back in also with like a gel or a gel pen or a paint pen to do the little spots on the deer. All right, add a little bit more brown to that because it's not quite dark enough. So I'm gonna pull some of the color right off the tip of the Neo Color. I'm going to add it back in the shadows a little bit here. Okay, and then any other like darker little accents that I want to add in I can do with my pencils. Okay, and then the antlers. So one of the pictures of my references has light antlers and one has dark antlers. And I think I'm gonna go for the darker antlers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start with this color, I think. Um, you know what, I'm gonna hold off and do that with my pencils, just because it's easier to get in those little tiny areas with my pencil. I do wanna do a little bit of this ochre down under here as well. Um, and yeah, all right, so there is Here's the little deer family with the Neo colors. Let me grab some pencils and we'll get started on a little bit of shading. All right, so I'm gonna use some Koinor pencils. Um, are these Koinor polycolor pencils? I've not really used these a whole lot, so we're gonna see how this does. Uh, I'm gonna darken up the area around here. So if we look at the deer here again, definitely some darker spots here that come up. And the rest of the deer is just kind of, I think that'll work. Uh, so I'm using burnt ochre here to blend that out because that's close to what that under color was. Okay, and then I'm gonna do um, what is this one? Natural Sienna in the ear here. And a little bit of the almond brown to blend that out. I like having a little bit of white on his, um, what am I trying to say? <laughs> on his nose. I also have this sandstone brown that I'm going to just kind of do little flicks along the edges and leave that center part kind of more white, but I'll kind of do the same thing on the belly here. Okay, we're gonna use this darker color to do the darker shading. And again, I'm gonna blend that out with this burnt ochre. And the nice thing about the deer is that you don't have to, well, and the fact that they're so little, you don't really have to do a whole lot of shading. Which is nice. All right, I think he looks all right. He does look a little patchy, so I think what I'll do is I'll just use this um, burnt ochre just really to even out the tones here. I'm just using the lightest amount of pressure, holding the pencil really far back so that I don't push too hard. And anywhere where there's like that weird variation of color, I'm just gonna add a little bit of shading back in there. So it looks more, more uniform. 
There we go. Okay, I like him. So on his antlers, I'm going to use this um, almond brown as a base. I know I said I was going to do dark antlers, and it will get there, but I just want to—I want to have this almond brown um, color in there as well. Okay. And then I'm going to use what is this? natural sienna. I think if I'm correct, the back side of these antlers would be darker. So that's well, that's just how I'm going to color them. So the ones behind the, the front ones are gonna be a little bit darker. All right, and then I'm gonna use this darker color to really get some good shadows in there. I don't color antlers very often, so this is, this is one that I'm kind of guessing at here. So on this one, this front one, I'm just kind of adding a little bit of shadow, um, not coloring the whole um, antler dark. I'm just kind of adding a little highlights, but the one in the back I'm making a little bit darker. Okay. I think that works. Okay, let's move on to the other deer. So the same thing I'm going to use um, to shade the dough. I'm going to use the Burnt Umber and Natural Sienna. I'm going to speed that up so you guys can see what I'm doing, but you don't have to wait for me to shade this all in. I'll talk to you again here in a second. And then again on the dough here, or the the fawn, I'm going to use my beige Posca. I'm going to add a little bit at the bottom of the tail, and then I'm going to fill in these spots. All right, and there's my cute, cute little deer. I think they turned out all right. Um, hopefully I'll be able to finish this page as well before the end of the video. Okay, so since these are, guys are done, I think that's going to be it. I am going to work on trying to finish up um, this page and the other page, and then we will I will come back and show you the completed pages. All right, so we did those two deer pages, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead in the description, I'm going to... Um, attach a link to the color along that I did for um, my deer page uh, for this page in the back here and this will kind of give you a, a little more detailed version of how, like how I would go about adding in the fur texture so if you have like a bigger deer um, this might be a, a good video for you to follow but for today I'm just going to go ahead and show you the deer um, pages that I did so here is this one you'll remember we did that with alcohol markers and some Sioux color pencils. And then I just went ahead and did a simple background and finished off the shading. Um, I think the deer turned out super cute. So there's that one. And then the other one we did was this one. So here is how this page turned out. Um, and I will hold it closer so you can see the deer. Not too much shading at all. I didn't do... Um, I did most of that with the Neo colors actually before it even um, was before I even had to do anything with color pencils. So, so yeah, so that is, those are my deer pages. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I know it's been a, a little while in the making, so I appreciate uh, patience with me. 
And um, the next video will be E is for elephant. So I hope you guys um, enjoyed this today and I look forward to the next one. And yeah, until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.